This is the MATH 126 sample final exam review. Uh, so I'm going to be following along with the blank uh, copy of the sample test. Just note that uh, the sections that are, are listed here on the answer key, that's going to tell you which sections that you'll be responsible for knowing for the final exam. Also take a look at the list of review problems. At the very end of this blank sample test, you'll see those. Those are problems from the book that are similar to the ones that will be on the final to give you extra practice. If a section we covered this semester does not appear on the sample test, that means that particular section will not be on the actual final exam. So the questions in the final exam uh, will be similar ones to what you see on the key here uh, on the uh, blank sample test and also list review problems. So let's get started. We'll start with uh, 1A. This first one is going to ask just these three things. It's going to ask you to find the intercepts and the symmetry. And uh, it'll be something similar to this one. So y squared equals x plus 4. Uh, what we're going to do first is find the intercepts. Uh, so for the x-intercept, the steps are you're going to put in a y for 0. So we have 0 squared equals x plus 4. And when we solve for that, bring the negative 4 over, we get the x-intercept is equal to negative 4. So we just have one x-intercept. For the y-intercept, you're going to put in a 0 uh, for x. So basically the way you remember that is you're always putting a 0 in for the opposite variable from what you see. So x-intercept you put a 0 in for y. For the y-intercept you put a 0 in for the x. And then we'll solve. So for this we put a 0 in for the x and we get y squared equals 0 plus 4. We get y squared equals 4 and you get y is equal to plus or minus 2. So we get two answers there for the y-intercept. So that's the first part of the question. It's going to ask you to do uh, that. The second step, the second part it asks you for is the symmetry. Now, when you do this on the test, it's very important that you label your work showing which of these that you're testing. If I just see some random things on there and I can't make out your work, what you're actually doing, I'm going to take off points. Make sure you label it clearly what test you're doing for each of these. Like it says on the key and like I'm going to do here, this is what you want to show for the work for this particular problem. So for instance, if I want to test x-axis symmetry right there, uh, the, the rule is you're going to put a negative y in for y and you're going to simplify it. If you get exactly the same thing that you started with, y squared equals x plus 4, that means it does have x-axis symmetry. Otherwise, if you don't get that, that means it does not have that kind of symmetry. So I want you to label somewhere on there, you don't have to necessarily put the negative y for y, but somewhere at least just put x-axis, y-axis, and origin so that way I can follow your work that you're showing here. Okay, so for this negative y for y, we're going to put a negative y in the original one, and then you're going to simplify it. Any negative raised to an even power is going to become positive. So this one, I do get exactly the same thing I started with. So I know for sure it's going to have x-axis symmetry. Okay, so this is uh, this one here it would be yes, it does have that kind of symmetry. Next, we're going to do the y-axis symmetry. So y-axis symmetry, you put negative x for x. So we'll put that in the original one, y squared equals negative x plus 4. No matter what I do, I can't make this look like the original one because if I multiply through by a negative, that means I'll change this sign and it'll change the sign out front. Uh, so this is going to be no, does not have that symmetry. The last one I'm going to check is origin symmetry I'll do over here. And this is negative x for x, negative y for y. We do both of them for the origin. Let's do that. We put a negative y in for the y in the original one, put a negative x in for the x, and I get y squared equals negative x plus 4. That's the same result as we had last time, and we already said that we can't make that one look like the original one, so this is no also. So this particular one, the symmetry is going to be, what I put here is x-axis symmetry. Now, if you go through all these steps and you get no uh, for all three, then you'd put none for symmetry. But this one, clearly, uh, we were able to get this to look like the original one, and so we know for sure it has x-axis symmetry.